let me ask you about the Southern Poverty Law Center more generally. What year did you join SPLC? February 2021. Or, so, I'm sorry, 2019. 2019. 2019 was the year that the SPLC paid $3.4 million in response to defamation lawsuits. 2019 was the year that Charity Watch gave your organization an F rating. The SPLC has been labeled by the left-wing policy journal Current Affairs as an outright fraud that uses willful deception designed to scare liberals into writing checks. The progressive journalist Alexander Cockburn said this about SPLC, I regard it, the Southern Poverty Law Center, collectively as one of the greatest frauds in American life. Liberal death penalty abolitionist Stephen Bright refused to accept an award named after the founder of the SPLC, saying in his words, the SPLC has long been run by a con man and a fraud. That's from a Harper's Magazine article. Also in 2019, SBLC employees told the press we were part of a con and we knew it. That's in a New Yorker article, not exactly a right-wing journal. Are you concerned by any of this record of the organization that you work for? Senator, what I'm glad that I didn't hear in that litany is a complaint about the voting rights work that we've done, about the clients and the community. Are you concerned that Charity Watch gave you an F, that you had to pay $3.4 million in response to defamation lawsuits, that you've been criticized, your organization's been criticized as a fraud and a con job, and that you work for an organization who says it's their goal in life to completely destroy their opponents? None of that gives you any pause. Senator, again... My work with the Southern Poverty Law Center has been to uphold the constitutional rights of individuals who without pro bono counsel would not be able, even able to have access to justice. I have to tell you, I, I find your answers absolutely extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. I can't believe you've been nominated for this position. I can't believe that the President of the United States would nominate someone from this organization with this record. And I can't believe that you would sit here today and refuse to condemn this hateful, frankly, violent rhetoric from this organization with this record. It's astounding to me.